Corporate inversion, the nasty trick corporate America is doing to hide their profits from the taxman, and the latest case is just a piece of art. I'm talking about the merger from Pfizer and Allergen, $160 billion acquisition, but it's a reverse acquisition. Let me tell you why, because you would think that Pfizer being the giant in pharmaceutical, that they are, yeah. they will buy Allergen, a small I never company even heard of in Ireland. No, it's this little tiny company yeah. that is actually buying Pfizer only to low down the rate from 25 or 30 percent rate tax rate that they're paying in the states to 10 percent that they're going to be paying in Ireland. And let me tell you how are they doing this. This is corporate inversion, and it's crazy. We have a chart, and it shows how these companies can just buy a little company that is in Ireland where the tax, corporate tax is lower, then the profits are lended to a Netherlands company, and then they get a further tax cut because of their European laws, and then the profits get channeled to Bermuda, where there's, there's a tax haven, and uh. then they funnel back to Ireland, cutting out the US from the whole equation. It's very sad, it's very simple, but we know now that these corporate companies, Pfizer, one of the biggest American pharmaceutical companies, that they should be patriotic and say, you know what, I'm gonna pay my fair, share of taxes in this country. No, I'm going to find a little company that I can trick into buying me. I'm paying them the money to do so in order for me to avoid my legal tax responsibilities in my country of origin. That is, and it's awful. And one more mark to the tiger on my battle against Big Pharma. And absolutely everyone knows that it's going on. And there's technically, I'm assuming, nothing really illegal here? Nothing illegal. Okay. Although, we have to say President Obama and members of Congress from both parties have been working hard to prevent inversion. It's something that has been happening and they already notice because it's hurting because regular citizens are paying 35% on yeah. their income every year. And you see this corporate giants going out, not only getting tax cuts from the government, but now channeling and doing some corporate chess game in order to prevent paying taxes, and we're getting, we're footing the bill. Bernie Sanders came forward and said, this is a disaster, it's awful that in a country where we already pay the highest prices for medical uh, drugs, we're gonna pay more, and now we're not gonna collect taxes from them. This is awful. Oh, of course it's awful. I mean, we're talking $160 billion. I mean, that, that must be some sort of record here. I, I it can't is one of the biggest sale. merger and acquisition yeah. deals in the history. Yeah. Freaking amazing. So really what it is is a shell game here. They're, they're just, you know, eluding every, uh, you know, tax company out there just so that they can put money in their own pockets. Meanwhile, you know, there's people who work hard and honestly and have to pay, you know, their, their, their fair share. But when we're talking billions of dollars in huge pharma, those rules don't apply to them because oh, they're better totally. than everybody. Because the lobbying <laughs> is the lobbying, revolving door in between these companies, the lobbying and Congress that allowed in the past for these things to happen. Now they're trying to track back. They're creating steps to prevent this corporate inversion. But what we know is that Allergen, this small company, is going to actually triple their stock price. Now the stock owners from Allergen, is gonna, they're going to get 11 shares for each share that they had before in this new global company. And Pfizer shareholders, they will only have one for one. So now we know that one of the biggest deals in the history of mergers and acquisition has gone down. Pfizer has been bought by Allergen in $160 billion to avoid paying taxes in the US.